Hi, in this video we will look the power action share point connector offers something called Mo file. Let's have a look how that works. Okay, that's the share point connector. Looking for the Mo file. Okay, so I'm selecting my address here and file to move. So remember, when you select select this browse button, it shows all the contents from SharePoint. That includes your list libraries as well. So if I select the list libraries, it's not going to work. Here it is, the list libraries. That's not going to work with this power action method. The, it this only works with the document libraries. So if you select a file from the list you are going to get an error saying that uh, this only works with the document libraries okay that's the first thing you need to remember okay now select one of my document library so I got a document library called doc1 and I have got a file called test.txt next I can select another destination address so in this example i'm going to use the same address but in a different destination folder so that destination folder is going to be another document library called slash doc2 then we can make some decisions here fail this action that means if the file is already there or you can say replace that means it's going to overwrite it or move with a new name that means it's going to it's going to copy over but it's going to add a um, another uh, uh, sorry it's going to um, move the file with um, with uh, a number at the end like if it's test.txt it's going to say test1.txt text2.txt etc i'll show you both actions then yeah so we're going to look for um, first look the fail this action okay uh, now i'm going to run this So here it is this is doc1 test doc2 i don't have anything here so it shouldn't fail so let's run this and see that works okay flow ran successfully so go back to doc2 here it is it's moved the file successfully if I go back to doc1, just refresh that browser. Here it is, the file is disappeared. So it's moved successfully that. So let's try to do that fail option now. So I'm going to drag and drop my file again. It's the same file name. And run the flow again. So this time, my action here is, remember, the one of the attribute I set is fail this action. Because we know that the file is already exists there. Here it is, it's failed. And the failure says a file or folder with the file name test.txt already exists. That's right. So it's working exactly as expected. Okay. Now let's set the action called move with a new name. Here it is. Okay, that's running now. So that's doc1. Let's keep refreshing that. Okay, that's mode. But what happened then? So let's go back to doc2 library. Here it is. So it's moved the file with a new name actually. That means it's added a number here called test1.txt. So let's try it again like going back to the doc1 and try to do the test again. So let's see what happens now then. Okay, that file mode again. So let's go back and see the doc2. 
here it is that's increment that number to text 2 now because the reason is the text 1 is already exist so it's put another new name for it so it's test 2 so that's the way that functionality works okay so the another one is the replace one which i'm not going to demo it it's going to override the existing record that's all it is okay now um, so let's select the replace option and um, if i'm going to run this we know it's going to replace it but there are some other things which which we need to look into so look for doc one here and i'm going to add a text a document document uh, a file here that is called a test.text so here it is i got a field called author here that's a custom um, column so if i go to the doc 2 i got another custom called called author this is the column name i created it yeah so what i'm going to do is let me go and delete all this okay so nothing in the destination folder so the target library that is a doc one i got a file and i'm going to edit that file put the author here as the david Here it is. So I got a, a metadata which I updated in the column called David against that document. Okay. And in doc2, I got the exact metadata called author here. Yeah. And also I have other metadata here as well, employee. Yeah. Let's try to run this and see what happens. Okay, the file has moved. So let's see what happens during the file transfer. It's moved the file. Also, it's updated the relevant column metadata name, which is David here. So along with when you move the file, it looks for the column names also, which need to be matched. So what I will do here is I'm going to add a custom column here. Another single line of text. It doesn't matter. So in this example, I'm going to use something called um, uh, paid or something. Yeah, okay. So it's a just call it as payment. Right. So I got another metadata here called payment. Let me go back here and delete my other file which I transferred earlier. Okay. So nothing in the doc2 library. So in doc1, I have got author and payment. Remember, in doc2, I only I only got author and employee. So that metadata is missing. The doc1 metadata, which is the payment, is missing in doc2. Yeah. So what happens then in this instance? So I'm going to drag and drop the text again here. I'm not going to update the author and the payment. Yeah. So let's see what happens in this instance. Here it is. So the file, it, the file move has been failed. The reason here it says is missing or mismatched field definition on the destination list of the source payment type text. So that means it is expecting the same met metadata, same metadata or the column names should exist in the target also. Otherwise, it will fail. It doesn't matter. You got additional columns here. See here, I got an employee one, which is not in doc one. That's fine. But under the doc one, you should have the same column names present in the doc two. So under the doc two, I'm going to create that column name here called payment. Okay, I'm going to save it here. Now, I'm going to try to run the same flow again. Here it is. The flow ran successfully. That file has disappeared. So under the doc2, the file has moved successfully here. So th this is the key information. So the key information here is the doc library the file to move where all the the des the target uh, library that should match the destination um, library column names otherwise the move file action will be will fail yeah so 
hopefully this is useful and thank you for watching